All right, so welcome to our final class for lesson one. So far, we have learned about what a computer is, the various parts of a computer, and I've also taught you who a programmer is, what it means, what programming means, and also I assisted you to answer that great question, which is, can I become a programmer? And as of today, you know that you can become a programmer. Is that not so? Very good. So, feel relaxed, and then let's move on to become a programmer. But today is going to test your knowledge of what we've done so far. I want to see how far you have followed. Is that okay? So, today is going to be some exercises that we are going to, to do. I'm going to do the end of lesson exercise. So, get ready, and then let's roll. So the first question is right before you. I'm going to set a time. There's going to be time for you to answer this question. So you're going to answer it in 20 seconds. Is that OK? Very good, 20 seconds. What is a computer? So are you ready? Let's go. All right, time up. The question is, what is a computer? And then remember I taught you, so what answer did you choose? Very good. Let's see if you are correct. Is that okay? Let's see if your answer is correct. Wow, the right answer is a computer is a smart boss which does what you tell it to, to do. Which answer did you choose? Somebody said you chose a toy car. No, a computer is not a toy car. Computer is not a storybook. Computer is not your daddy's best friend. Neither is it a magic boss. A computer is just a smart boss which does what you tell it to, to do. Is that okay? Very good. Now let's move on to the next question. The next question says, which of the following are part of a computer? Are you ready? Remember 20 seconds. Ready? Go. Yes, time up again. Did you get it? Now, which of the following are part of the computer? Remember again that I taught you this question. Now, let's see what answers are right and what answers are wrong. Yeah, B is correct, A is wrong, a cap is not part of the computer. You have the monitor, C is also wrong, shoes are not part of the computer, D is correct, a mouse. E is wrong, a car, cars are not part of the computer. And finally, your F, which is a CPU, is correct. So how many did you score? Very good. If you, score, if, 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 if you failed any, don't worry, revise the lesson again, and you'll be able to get it this time. Is that OK? Good. Now, I love you. You are doing very, very great. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is, what is a program of code? Are you ready? Now let's go. Yeah, time up again. What is a program or code? A a medicine for the computer, B, another name for the computer, C, a list of step-by-step -step instruction that makes a computer do what you want, D, a part of a computer, and E, a piano. So let's see which is correct, which is correct. Wow, C is the answer. A list of step-by-step -step instruction that makes a computer do what you want. Okay. Let's move on to question number four. Are you ready to go? Let me hear you say, yeah, yeah. Very good, let's go. Question four, who is a programmer or coder? Are you ready? 
Let's do this. Good. Good, time up. Who is a programmer? A says someone who sleeps. B, someone who eats a lot. Wow. C, someone who likes playing. D, someone who codes. E, someone who likes watching movies. So what answer is correct? Are you ready to see that? Let's unveil it. Are you ready? Go. Yes, the correct answer is Someone who codes. Is that okay? Someone who codes is the correct answer for who is a programmer. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Which of the following are qualities necessary to become a great programmer? Which of the following are qualities necessary to become a great programmer? A, don't give up. B, eat plenty of food. C, be careful. D, be creative. E, love watching TV. F, talk a lot. Okay, let's see the answer. Are you ready? Pick your answers. Go. Time up again. Now let's see which answers are correct. Wow, don't give up is one of the qualities necessary to become a programmer. Eat plenty of food is not. Be careful is correct. Be creative is correct. Love watching TV is not correct. Talk a lot is not correct. So how many did you score? Very good. If you score less, you have to improve. Is that okay? Go over and watch the lesson again and improve on your score. Is that okay? Good. Now, finally, let's take the last question. The last question says, which of the following are benefits of coding? Now, time is going to start counting. Ready? Go. Yes, time up. Which of the following are benefits of coding? A, coding helps you dance a lot. B, coding helps you become creative. C, coding makes you grow bigger. D, coding helps you become a confident problem solver. E, coding helps you develop great numerical skills. And F, coding makes you fatter. Let's see the correct answers. Are you ready to see it? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, okay. The correct answers are B, coding helps you become creative. D, coding helps you become confident problem solver. And E, coding helps you develop great numerical skills. Now we've had six questions at the end of lesson one, and I want to hope that you did great. If you have any challenges, go over the lessons again, watch it carefully and answer the questions. I'm going to see you in the next lesson, which is lesson two. Here we are going to dive into Scratch. We're going to start learning our program. Is that okay? Very good. So see you and be a good kid and get ready to become a programmer. See you later. Bye-bye.